guys welcome to the channel more 719 so if you are new to this channel please subscribe for more upcoming tech videos that i'll be doing you can also follow me on tiktok at more 719 or on facebook at jacob einstein for more tech videos that i usually do so hope you enjoy the full videos this is the new infinix 0x pro which comes with a lot of cool specs but the main attraction here is the 108 megapixel ois camera the phone is powered with dual chipset, the Helio G95 and the other chipset enable the phone to have 120Hz refresh rate. It comes with an AMOLED screen with a brightness of 700 nits protected by Gorilla Glass 5. On the bottom part it has the speaker, the Type-C charging port, the mouthpiece and the earphone jack. Unfortunately the phone comes with only one speaker at the bottom. On the left side we have the SIM card slot which doubles as the memory card slot. This round Infinix decided to change the design of the SIM slot by shortening it by half. The new SIM slot can hold two SIM cards without falling unlike the previous SIM slots which had to be held carefully when inserting in the phone. The red rubber on the slot prevent water and dust from entering the phone even though the phone is not IP rated. On the right side we have the volume rocker and the power button and at the top we have nothing meaning there is no secondary mic. On the back the phone comes with a glass bar cover protected by Gorilla Glass 5 unlike the previous model which had a plastic cover. This phone is able to resist scratches on a daily use so you don't have to be worried about that. I also tried to scratch the phone behind the camera several times to test if it was okay. The phone will attract a lot of fingerprints if you are not using the cover. The frame is made of plastic meaning it can scratch very easily. Overall the build quality of the Zero X Pro is okay and feels very premium so I'll give it a 9 out of 10 since it has a plastic frame. Now let's dive in the phone and check out the cool feature that it has. As usual the phone comes with a lot of useless apps that you can install when you want to. The phone comes with 128 plus 8 GB RAM with an expendable RAM of 3 GB. It has a 4500 mAh battery with a charging speed of 45 watts, meaning it is one of the fastest charging Infinix apart from the concept phone. It comes with Android 11 out of the box and let's hope that Infinix will upgrade to Android 12 soon when it is available. A lot of Infinix users were hoping to see a 5G phone this year but we are yet to see it cause this phone is 4G. On connection side the phone can cast and support OTG. It also supports Android Auto which enables the phone to connect in a car when using. On sound, the phone supports DTS which enables the user to choose different modes of the sound quality. 
And apart from the DTS, you can also equalize the sound of the phone depending with your preference. The phone has cool wallpapers but you can also use the live wallpaper. The live wallpaper of the phone is very cool. The dark mode enables the phone to save the battery since it has an AMOLED screen, which is better compared to the LCD panel. Using the AMOLED screen, the phone is able to support always on display feature which cannot be supported on LCD panels also. This is the second phone to support always on display feature since most of the Infinix phones use LCD panels. The always on display feature has a lot of themes that you can choose from when setting up. On the ultra touch you can increase the speed of the navigation. On the refresh rate you can choose from the three options given but for me I will prefer the 120 hertz which is very fast. When switching from the two options you can feel the big differences they have from 120 hertz to 60 hertz. The phone is crazy fast when it is locked at 120Hz and this makes it one of the fastest Infinix yet. This is a very huge improvement from Infinix devices from 90Hz to 120Hz. Most of the applications will support the 120Hz like Facebook and other applications.
If you are enjoying the video about the Zero X Pro, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any video that I upload. The extra 3GB will enable the phone to run faster when running applications on a daily use. On the security department, we have several options to choose from the face unlock, the in-display fingerprint and the password. This is the first phone from Infinix to come with in-display fingerprint since most of the Infinix use LCD panel which cannot support the in-display fingerprint. This is another big improvement from Infinix company since most users wanted in-display fingerprint. It took them so long to include the in-display fingerprint which is a common thing now in most devices. The fingerprint is very fast from the testing experience that I have had with the phone. On the fingerprint settings, we have three unlocking effects to choose from. The fingerprint of the Zero X Pro is a bit faster compared to Phantom X.
Infinix has also introduced their own voice assistant called Folax, which is the same as Ella on Phantom X. The voice assistant on the device can do several tasks, but it cannot do the same as Google Assistant, since it is under development. The voice assistant is activated by swiping from the left or the right corner of the device. On the special function features, the phone has an option to activate the floating windows on the phone. This feature enables the user to use two different applications at the same time, where you can listen to music and be on WhatsApp, unlike the split screen, which can also do the same thing. But this you are able to minimize the screen and also use another application. I find this feature more useful when I'm listening to music on YouTube and also I'm chatting on WhatsApp so the music doesn't have to stop when I'm chatting. The smart panel on the device enables the user to create shortcut for the most frequent used apps. Now let's go to the camera since it has been making a lot of headlines. The phone comes with three cameras at the back, the 108 megapixel, an 8 megapixel ultra wide and another 8 megapixel periscope zoom with a capability of 60x zoom. And it also support 5 times optical zoom. The photos taken on the back camera are very good and clear from my testing experience of the phone. Even though the back camera of the Infinix Zero X is very good, the front camera need a lot of improvement because the previous model had 48 megapixel and this one has 16 megapixel which is a downgrade. The Zero X periscope camera has a moon mode where you can zoom at the moon and take photos of it at night which is very cool and I've not seen it on other mid-range devices.
The Pro mode on the device enables the photographer to take better photos and better control of the camera. The wide angle camera doubles as the macro camera so you can take macro photos with the phone. On the video department, the phone can record up to 4K at 30 frames per second both the front and the back camera. It can also record slow motion videos up to 960 frames per second. This video was recorded with Infinix Zero X Pro. The overall performance of the camera is very good and can do a lot of cool stuff with it, so don't hesitate to buy the phone. The overall performance of the phone is very good. The 120Hz enable the phone to be very fast. Also the camera with the 108MP enable the phone to be one of the best in the market here. On YouTube, the device can support up to 4K videos with very good colors. You will need a good Wi-Fi connection for the any device to support up to 4K videos on YouTube.
I appreciate a lot for everyone who is watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming tech videos that I will be doing. Peace out. Thank <music> you.